Well, what is going on, my people? How is everybody doing? And how is everybody thrilling? And today, my people, welcome back to another video. And I'm going to be showing you all how to make the one and only Chris Mullen. This is a requested build. You already know. I said, if you comment down in the comment section what builds you want to make, if I'm able to make these builds as I'm making it and it come out to be a good build, I'm going to drop it. All right. So, as you can see, Chris Mullen first and last name small forward he's a left hand of course jersey number is 17. i couldn't find his wingspan on google but it is what it is so we're just gonna drop this weight down to 200 because that's how much he weighed and then we're just gonna leave the wingspan at seven foot body shape and leave it as solid all right so first things first the only thing that we're gonna put up is the close shot to a 80 and then we're gonna put this to a 75 uh actually no they're gonna go 80 on the driving layup all right and then that's all we're gonna do then we're gonna put the post fade to a 55 right here okay that's all we're gonna do right here the driving dunk driving dunk is low so we ain't even gonna do it i mean we can go 45 but i mean i don't even know so the three-point shot Max that out all the way out to 90. That's very important. And in the mid-range, all we're gonna do is go 81 on the mid-range. That's it, my people. That's all we need to do. You don't need to do anything else. Then you wanna go 80 on the free throw shot. Now, the pass accuracy is low for this build, but at least go 70. That's all we're gonna do. The ball handling, go 75 on the ball handle, like that. And then the speed with ball is also low. It was a 63, but we're just going to go, it just goes 65. It don't even matter, all right? Now go 66 on the interior defense, okay? And then you want to go 84 right here. So all of these attributes that I'm putting in, my people, you can literally find these same attributes on the NBA rosters. This is the uh, Golden State Warriors, Chris Mullen. I forgot what year that was, but that was, of course, with him, Tim Hardaway and um which uh mitch richmond as well that was that warriors team so these um attributes you can definitely find on the rosters i'm no longer showing attributes i want to just get straight into the video with every build that i make all right so y'all could like i said check those out then you want to go on the still go 73 the block was a 59 okay that's not bad at least you get some type of block the offensive rebound 48 let's go let's just go 50 and then defensive rebound is also 50 so this is what we're rocking with for this build okay that's it now the speed chris Mullen had a 64 speed but i feel like that's kind of crazy at least a 70 Acceleration also was low, so you know what? I think we should at least go 80-80. Okay, that's solid. 80-80 right here. The strength, he had a 76 strength, that's solid. So we're just gonna max that out at 74. And then the vert was a 68, but we're just gonna go 70 on right here. And then stamina, you wanna go to that 90 stamina. 90 is like the sweet spot. I think that's a solid everything else now we can do this okay so now when you go back up so i just made sure that i was able to get everything first so the shot close was a 92 so we're gonna go up on that 92 why not that's gonna give us 12 the layup 84 right here and then take that standing dunk out we don't need the standing dunk the mid-range shot was a 91 so we're gonna go all the way up to a 89 okay that's gonna give us 28. So look at this build, my people. Look at this build, okay? This build is crazy. If you don't want the close shot that high, what you can do is go 88 and you could go with the higher free throw and then just put the rest back here. So this is what we're rocking with. So the higher free throw is gonna be key if you wanna take this to the rec. This build is also going to be able to shoot the ball really well. I'm telling you, anybody that you hoop on a rec with, whether it be with your friends or with a with a randoms, even on the park, vice versa, they're gonna want a player that could shoot this good on their team. That 93 point shot, look at the badges, right? A lot of people don't really have this 93 point shot. Some people do, but these are what you Asian threes, blinders, 
Like this is gonna help you shoot some good shots and get some good highlights if you're into that. So everything else is solid, 12, 28, 13, and 13. This is a solid build. I literally added some more attributes just to make it better. Cause a 60 speed, a 70 speed, nah, it's through 80, 80. That's solid, right? This build is looking crazy. This look, this build is really looking crazy. So shooting is, you know, what you're gonna be good at, obviously. Takeovers, shot creating sharp and locked. For me, anytime I could get the lock, I would get locked. So I would do extreme clamps and then I would do limitless range right here, okay? If you don't care about having the lock take, you can just do double. But for me, I still wanna be able to play some type of defense as well. So I feel like extreme clamps is gonna help me out on defense, all right? So now let's see what this build comes out to be. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we get? As you can see, Chris Mullen, very first. A lot of people, they focus on at least getting any type of shades, but I'm gonna be honest, my people, just like on NBA 2K22, the name at the top is what people really focus on. This is technically name at the top. This is just the first picture that you see of Chris Mullen. This is his build. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build. But oh, hold on, I can't leave yet because I know y'all want the uh, badges. All right, so we get 12 finishing. You don't really need that much finishing, but you know what? I feel like, let me see, fast twitch would be nice to have. And then Acrobat, Fearless, I will go silver here. Oh, just go bronze maybe? Hmm. So maybe you don't need it that high. Let's do this. I would just do this, my people. Don't, don't expect to go crazy in the paint. I mean, you can get some good finishes with the close shot that's super high and also with the layup that's also super high. But you wanna focus on shooting that rock, okay? So look, catch and shoot on gold. Uh, green machine, I will go silver, space creator. You can dribble a little bit with this build. Go here, claymore, you could go gold. Now we're unlocking all of these. I'm going agent three. I'm going agent three on core. And then you can go right here for the limitless and blinders. You could do silver blinders or you could do dead eye. But to be honest, I'll probably just go dead eye. And that's that's all I would rock, okay? That's the only thing that I would put for this. We get 13 playmakers. So quick first step on bonds. Why not put that up there? Bailout, it's always good to have bailout. Hyper drive. Now we have three. I feel like I would just honestly go with you can go mismatch expert too. I think that would be cool. And then needle threader. Because you are six seven, most likely you'll be going against a six eight. 6'9", so the mismatch expert, you get a little boost, you know what I'm saying? That would be great. Now, the defense, uh, chase down on silver is really, really good. Menace on gold. If you're gonna be playing on ball, go with the pick dodger, which you're probably not gonna be playing on ball, so you don't really need that. I would still put box out on bronze just cause you're gonna be matched up, especially if you're playing park, you're gonna be matched up with a 6'9", or, or center. So maybe silver might be good here and then just brick wall would also be nice just so you can be able to, you know, get some type of animations on a park, whatever. So y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build.